Welcome to another Keyshot Quick Tip. In this video, I'll briefly demonstrate how to use live linking to boost your speed and efficiency when working simultaneously between CAD and Keyshot. You can download the free SOLIDWORKS plugin at keyshot.com slash plugins. Keyshot 9.1 has support for SOLIDWORKS 2020. Once the plugin has been successfully installed, a Keyshot menu will appear when you have a part or assembly open in SOLIDWORKS. Send to Keyshot launches your current 3D data from SOLIDWORKS into Keyshot. Update Keyshot pushes any changes made in SOLIDWORKS directly to your open scene in Keyshot. Export to Keyshot file creates a BIP file, which will import to Keyshot much faster than a part or assembly file. And lastly, with Export Keyshot settings, you have the ability to edit settings for sending and exporting models. This might include separating materials, or changing the up orientation. But for this quick tip, we are going to focus on the update feature, which really takes advantage of the incredible live linking abilities between Keyshot and SOLIDWORKS. With your model open in SOLIDWORKS, click Send to Keyshot. The plugin imports your model centered and snapped to ground, with original size and appropriate model units automatically applied to your scene. Now, let's say you want to make some changes to your model within SOLIDWORKS. When you're done, just simply click Update, and your changes will be pushed automatically to Keyshot. This is an incredible time saver if you're continuously making edits to your model. So, what if you want to roll back the Rebuild bar in SOLIDWORKS? That's also possible. Just hit Update to send your model at that point in history to Keyshot. This is great if, for example, you want to capture step-by-step -step build instructions without deleting actual features in Keyshot. Check out part two of this quick tip to see how we achieve accurate mapping of textures on this model utilizing the Unwrap UV tool available in Keyshot 9.1. Thanks for watching this Keyshot quick tip. Let us know your thoughts on this topic in the comments section below. If you found this video useful, give it a like and share it with your friends.